Hey guys, what's up? Chris here from BeardGeekNation.com. Today we are looking at the latest anniversary release from the brewery This, and I, I'm sorry about the pronunciation, I'm going to butcher it, but it's Kuvra. Kuvra, I believe it's a French for copper, coming in at 16.2% alcohol by volume. It's an old ale, 100% barrel, bourbon barrel aged uh, beer. You can pick this one by craftcity.com if you can't get it locally to you. Basically what they're doing with their anniversary series, and I love that they do this, they take a small amount of the previous year's batch and blend it into the current batch. So. In theory, batch one, there's a there's a little component of this has batched anniversary, year one anniversary into this beer. Uh, they blend it, they barrel age it, they release it, and each year gets a little bit more complex. Um, I really, really dig this beer. Again, I picked it up at craftcity.com, looking forward to it. And I noticed they got rid of the wax. They got rid of the brewery wax, so I didn't have to spend five minutes to open this one. It was like a pole foil cap like uh, Firestone Walker does. So with that said, let me get into glass so you guys know it smells taste. Give me the final verdict on the brewery's Kufra. All right, guys, the aroma on the Kufra. Wow. Toasted coconut, vanilla, pipe tobacco, sweet, dark fruits. Just amazing, wow. All right, so the taste on the Kuva. Cheers. Wow, wow, wow. <clears throat> right in front of the tongue, big coconut, toasted coconut, vanilla, bourbon barrel. I mean, everything you want in a bourbon barrel, right in the front of the tongue, middle of the mouth. Big sweetness, big, chewy, caramelly, dark fruit sweetness. Uh, not cloying at all, but it's definitely a big, sweet, chewy beer. It's got that vanilla in there. It's got that slightly, uh, that slight char characteristic from the inside of the bourbon barrel as well. Uh, tobacco, that smoked tobacco, that, that pipe tobacco uh, type of flavor. Super sweet finish in the aftertaste, getting more of that coconut. It tastes like a toasted macaroon with dark fruits on top. I mean, that's what it, it really does taste like that. Uh, definitely getting the alcohol, you get the sweetness, you get the burn, but it's a big ass beer, so I would expect that. Uh, but it does, it's actually pretty palate cleansing. The actual beer doesn't stick around too long. It tastes like a gigantic beer. You know, it, it has the body of a gigantic beer, but it doesn't linger like a gigantic beer, which goes to say a lot about their brewing style. I mean, it, they nailed this one. I guess the final verdict on the brewery's Kuvra, <laughs> seventh anniversary ale, 16.2% available now. You can pick it up at craftcity.com. Guys, this one is getting an A. I really, really genuinely love these anniversary beers. I think the last three or four years have just been fantastic. I think this one builds on that pedigree uh, even more. Ever since they decided to 100% bourbon barrel age them, they've just gotten better and better and better. I think the brewery is really just dialing in their system with these big beers and they just kill it. They kill it. Uh, no one is brewing big beers currently like the brewery is, from, in my humble opinion. Um, it's just fantastic stuff. It's you know it's basically uh, an old ale or a, kind of an English style barley wine, the predecessor of an English style barley wine. Throw it in the bourbon barrel. It's just big. It's aggressive. It just destroys your palate, but it's super flavorful and just an absolute joy to sip on for an hour or two. It's just fantastic stuff. Getting an A for me. Remember, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.